Hello everybody, my name is Cody Spurlock and welcome to the Spurlock Spotlight. Today I'm joined by Manny Martinez. And overall we're going to start this series to give a spotlight to the students of NHS. See what makes them special, what makes our school special. Manny, I'm going to start by asking you, what makes you special? <laughs> um, that's a kind of complicated answer. But uh, one of the things I really associate myself with and take pride and passion in is uh, my music and uh, what I do with music. So you do music? Yes, I do. I'm just playing with you. So how, how's Madrigals going? Uh, Madrigals is, it's interesting. I mean, like, we still, we've come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. Uh, we definitely have a lot of setbacks. Uh, sometimes individually as students and sometimes together as a group. You know, a lot of things stand in our way sometimes, uh, whether it be, you know, in the classroom or out of the classroom. But we found a way to persevere for the most part. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you also make music independently, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for fun I do, yes. Uh, do you ever hope to, like, maybe move that into, you know, a job or, or publish some of that music in the future? I do plan on, you know, publishing some of that in the future. I don't plan on it being like a job unless it really, you know, blows up and I can commit my time to it because, you know, I have other plans too, but it would be great for that to happen, but it's not really like a main goal of mine. So beyond music, like what do you, what do you do? Like outside of school, but when you're not, when you're not singing, when you're not making music, what is it that you do? <laughs> uh... That's a weird question because my life really revolves around a lot of music, but um, I, I guess I do some, uh, I do some reading. I was talking to my mom the other day uh, about skating again. I used to love to skate when I was little, so yeah, I've been and thinking about skating, taking skating up again. So. And we've we've been friends for a while, but correct me if I'm wrong. Your mom's like the director of the parks department of the city of Hutch, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's a pretty that's big thing. Like. Isn't that kind of cool to have, you know? Like it is pretty cool. I went in the other day, and I saw her office, and goodness gracious, it was not what I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be, like, a little corner in somewhere, but honestly, it's bigger than this room that we're in right now. So I was like, dang. Okay. So is your mother the Ron Swanson of Hutch? Actually, in her job description, yes. They have the exact same job description. That's what cool. They do. Yeah. That's really – is it, you know <laughs> – Something that you'd be interested in doing? No, never. No? No. My mom has a lot different skill set than I do. Yeah. Different mindset. What do you What do you plan on doing after After high school? So. Um, after high school, I will be uh, attending K State. Um, I will. Ema. Uh, yeah, Ema. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm planning on getting a um, I'm planning on getting a degree in uh, graphic design, and probably minoring in music. Uh, on a music scholarship, so, yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, throughout your four years of being here, because you're, you're a senior and, and we're, we're approaching that final stretch, what has been your favorite memory? My favorite memory? Uh, some of my favorite memories from this school actually occurred outside the school. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just like the awesome people that you meet, you know. There's so many seniors that I remember from my freshman year who were just great people, and they were just fun to be around. And especially my junior year, or my, I guess it was or their sophomore year. My year. sophomore year. Yeah. Goodness gracious, that class of seniors was just amazing. I yeah. could not think of a time in my life where I was more happy than my sophomore year. I completely agree. Especially, <laughs> we had a really solid Madrigal singers oh, that Lord. year. That, that would have been a amazing. very fun group to sing with. That more. was a very good um, group. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Uh, I remember... Uh, that group is why I joined Madrigals when I was a junior. Yeah. Because um, it had, you know, you had Zach, Cody, mm -hmm. McKenna, yeah. uh, you had it's Emma, or Emma's awesome older group. sister, sorry, Olivia. Yeah, um, yeah that was that yeah. was a fun group. Um, you've also, you know, you've done some other things here besides just uh, uh, music and, and singing. Um, what are some of those things? Uh, I've done a lot of things here. Uh, that includes being on FBLA, uh, Scholars Bowl. Um, I've done some stuff uh, in the. <laughs> I've done some stuff uh, for for the principal and stuff. Uh, that was back like sophomore year stuff though. Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers. Uh, yeah. That was fun. That I was loved Crime Stoppers. Um, yeah, I do editing here at Panther TV. I really did it more when I was you know a younger kid because. 
all the older kids would help me help me out and stuff like that but a lot more stuff to do yeah so over the four years we we all grown mm -hmm. some of us more than others uh, um, but what is uh, what what do you think your biggest change has been since you first got here at NHS since I first got here yeah oh wow there's been a lot I really I really changed a lot during my time in high school uh, when I came into high school it was just off of uh, COVID-19 and yeah. Um, yeah it was a hard time for us all really hard time for us all we were and it was especially hard for us coming into high school because uh, high school is really supposed to be the time where you find out who you are and what you want to do and uh, we didn't really have that chance because we were thrown in and yeah. uh, it's hard to find out who you are when there's nobody around you exactly you, know, you can't really find out what you want to do with your life when you're sitting at home behind a computer screen mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I definitely understand that we me and you both had some similar issues with even getting our classes done oh uh, right. <laughs> anyway yeah that was definitely that was that was a tough time yeah. and uh, Without the students that I think went here, that went here when we were here uh, at that time, I think it would have been a lot harder, though. Yeah. Uh, some of the friends we were able to make throughout probably even helped the, a lot. Even some of the teachers, too. Yeah. Like, without uh, Mr. Logan, who was our uh, my first uh, yeah. choir teacher, and uh, without some of the other teachers that we had, like, even Mr. Matthias, I feel like those guys were really big helps to me individually. Uh, and getting through all that stuff and just something I could look forward to, uh, somebody I could talk to, you know. Yeah, that, that freshman year, I mean, without without the staff that we had that freshman year, I think I think it would have looked uh, very different for us both. I yeah. mean, I you know I started doing debating forensics my freshman year, but mm -hmm. I think I went to four debate tournaments when I was a freshman. <laughs> I, I still ended up going to nationals on the world schools team, but. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was it was always a weird weird time. I don't know how what I would have done if Mr. Yates wasn't teaching at that time. Yeah. Um, a lot of it, like Mr. Flowers, for example, who coach in wrestling. A lot of the teachers who who've moved on uh, from Nickerson since. So a lot of them played a, a pretty big impact, oh, especially yeah. in our in our younger years. Uh, really helped us get through it. And and some of them are still here. Like uh, you know, I didn't start really taking a lot of Miss Stout's classes yeah. um, until this year, but. Uh, Miss Stout was was there for a lot of kids during that time too. That's what she she's really the one that got me into like got me into knowing what I want to do because graphic design is really just something that I'm really passionate about, something that I really like to do, uh, especially in like product placement and stuff like that, you know. And uh, really, Miss Stout and Miss Nichols were the ones that introduced me to the tools that I needed to do that sort of my sophomore year, more towards that time. I yes. Guess. And, and now moving a little bit away from, uh, uh, you know, our school life, um, entertainment-wise, we watched the Royal Rumble. Oh, Lord, yes. What are your thoughts? Amazing. You you like the Royal just Rumble? Just the Rumble? Just the Rumble. Just the Rumble? I loved the Rumble. You loved the Rumble? I, I will, Be honest. I will always love the Rumble. And it's it's just like one of those things where it's like you, even when it's like, even when it upsets you, even when you don't like, like some people enjoy football. And sometimes you may not always like the outcome for your team or the outcome for somebody else's team, but at the end you always end up finding yourself watching the uh, watching the Super Bowl just because you love the game so much. And it's it's just yeah. one of those things. Yeah, I, I, I you know I definitely see that. Um, so WWE and, and watching it that's, that's been a pretty big thing for for you throughout your uh, throughout your childhood, right? Like you you you've been a fan of WWE for how long? Oh, longer than I can, longer than I can probably tell you. It's probably been my whole life. It started out as uh, me and my dad. My dad, uh, well, it was really me and my grandma. My grandma used to watch, well, my great grandma. She used to watch wrestling all the time. And uh, whenever I was growing up, I just took a liking to it. And so I would watch it with my dad every time it came on. And uh, when I got older, we went to some live events. And yeah. just ever since I was a little kid. So. What was your favorite live event that you went to? Probably my first one. I don't remember it much, but I do remember that there was a, another little boy that sat next to me, and uh, we became friends instantly. I've never seen him again yeah. to this day, honestly. <laughs> yeah. uh, I remember my first WWE match. It was uh, in Salina. I've told you about it before. That's the... Um, ah, the one with the Miz. With the Miz, because yeah. I'm, you know, I'm Miz's number one fan in the world. <laughs> uh, you can you can take that to the bank, and and the whole arena was booing him because you know he's a heel. But yeah. I was screaming so loud, <laughs> uh, and and 
you know, they they were they they kept on they kept on booing him, but this guy I got close to him, you know, I was I was like, Mish, Mish. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone around me was like, What is this kid on? This is oh, the villain, but I love this so much. Yeah. But uh you know what what uh what else what else do you do? Um besides, you know, watching a ton of WWE and, and singing and, and your graphic design. I mean you're you're probably a pretty busy guy. You uh had some jobs throughout high school? Oh yes, I love, I love. Uh, my job was lifeguarding. I've been like, I've uh, been a lifeguard for a long time. You get swimmer? Uh, yeah, I mean, you kind of have to be, right? Well, yeah, Taking yeah. From that job, but I love, I loved lifeguarding. I was a, I was a lifeguard for one year, and then I was a lifeguard trainer my second year, and then I was a manager my third year. Uh, so. You've been you've been doing it for a while, so let me yeah. let me hear your hey bud. Can, can I can I hear <laughs> oh, your hey too, bud? No. No, it was way louder and way meaner than that. Come on, you had bud. To be, you had to be strict. These kids <laughs> do not care, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, I always remember, you know, I was drowning my little brother and hey bud, <laughs> can't you bud? No, no, not allowed. Uh, but uh, is that a uh, something that you're gonna keep doing or is that? probably done for you no i mean uh going into this next year there is a massive uh there is a massive water park at uh manhattan and i heard that they're looking for some uh guards from one of my friends that i lifeguarded with she told me that it's amazing to work there and that it's really fun so i mean when i do uh end up going to manhattan if i'm in need of a job i just you know that's just an easy thing to go to with all the experience i have maybe yeah. even be a manager there i don't know what their requirements are, but yeah. I mean, it sounds fun. Uh, you know, I, I've never been the most athletic specimen, mm -hmm. but the only thing that I could always do really well was swim. Back <laughs> when I was a Boy Scout, we took the swimming test, and I was, yeah. felt so cool because I uh, got the top rank. Uh, it's called, because uh, they, they, they establish it by color, and there's like white swimmers, blue swimmers, and then I got to be the, the black swimmer. Um, uh, top, top category. Nice. So, uh, not not to brag, but uh, <laughs> dabbled in that arena a little bit myself. Um, what was what's your favorite memory of lifeguarding? Was it just hanging out with like your coworkers, or? I think my favorite memory would probably be towards more towards the end of the year. Uh, we would always have like these big lifeguard parties, and uh, we'd be able to break some of the rules while we were there because it was just the lifeguards who were. You got to run by the pool. Oh, uh, we got to do way more than that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what what. If you're at liberty, what is the the most rule breaking thing you did while being a lifeguard? I can tell you the most rule breaking thing somebody else did. Okay, yeah, that, that's, smart. that's smart. That's smart. Somebody I mean, else. If anybody in if anybody from my job were watching this right now, <laughs> I always follow the rules. Yep. I did not once. So so hypothetically, right? Yeah. This this person who um, broke this rule. Yeah. What did they do? Okay, so. <laughs> We would hang off of the bottom of the top diving board, like that super high diving board. <laughs> what? We would, we would hang off the bottom of that with our hands. Yeah. And then we would have somebody jump on it at the same time as us, and then we would both fly off. Allegedly. Exactly allegedly. And allegedly. And that seems it, really dangerous. <laughs> fly off. I could dangerous. definitely see why that's against the <laughs> rules. I thought you were going to say you, you took a sucker to the pool with you or something. Or, no. No, you, uh, you risked your life by hanging yeah, off of the high dive. That thing's like, that's like 20 stuff. feet up. That was fun. That, that's, a, that's a big diving or board to just be. It would have been fun. Yeah. Uh, I, had hypothetically, stuff. if yeah. that happened, that would have been fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know. That, that that seems pretty fun. You've been you've kept yourself busy these past four years. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Are, you, are you looking forward to maybe taking a little bit of time off this summer and and maybe cooling it down in college, or are you gonna kind of keep the grind, keep the keep the process going? Yeah. No, I don't really think there's any cool in it for me. I just never been really like a cool it type of person. Uh, I'd say for the most part, going into college, I plan to work my butt off and uh, just have as much. <laughs> Money as possible. Much money as it. possible. Like, yeah. Because you know scholarships do a lot for you, but there's still that you know. There, yeah. A whole bunch of stuff to pay for all the time. Because you got you got to get the housing, and then you yeah. need to be able to have enough money to eat all you can eat all year. Or uh, <laughs> yeah. at least that's for me. I mean, honestly though, if you if you've seen the K State 
lunch oh my rooms. gosh i mean you, you, you got to get the all you can eat pass and uh, you know going to a small school when we went to manhattan on that uh visit that was a pretty big change for us like that oh, was man. that was pretty it was pretty different for us are you looking forward to going to an environment that has a lot more people a lot more to do 100% i am 100% a people person and uh, that's uh, that's a social skill that you don't really get to show as much at smaller schools, just because there's sometimes yeah, there's a everyone knows there. yeah, everybody. Yeah, so it's, it's like the, it was so big that I was just like I'm ready for this. Like this is where I can see myself being in the future, and uh, getting to know people here, and even you know even if it's just a small amount of people that I just keep close to me, it's still it's still worth it. It's always interesting, you know, being at a small school. Like, uh, and you know, I say we're a small school. We're a school, little or around the 300 uh, area. Um, I, I go to I go to tournaments and I see, you know, people where 300 might be in their class. Uh, but then there's also schools where we're a big school. You know, there's people with like 20 people in their class, 15 or 15 people. You know, so Burton has like 15 people in their school. Yeah, and, and you know, like I think <laughs> solid. I think there's like 40,000 people that go to K State. Yeah, and, and that, that's like the population of Hutch. That's a, that's a that's lot crazy. of people. And they're all freaking your age. Yeah, right? they're living the same part of their life as you. Yeah, cool. it'll, it'll be an interesting experience. Are you looking forward? To it, or are you a bit nervous? I'm looking forward to it a lot, really. I'm not really nervous. I've never really been nervous in like social stuff like that. Uh, I've really been looking forward to it. Uh, there's some things that like in college that are expected that you know I tend to like not gravitate towards, but you know I th I think I can find I can find my way through pretty pretty easily. <laughs> and then kind of wrapping things up here. So we we talk about what's special about you, but it's also probably important to know, you know, you're more than just what you do, right? Like you have a lot of you have a lot of friends here. You were even on the homecoming court earlier, and and yeah. I think it's important. Like Nickerson really gave us both this opportunity to uh, kind of help facilitate some of our growth as people. Um, I like to think of it less as Nickerson giving us the opportunity to do that, and more of it as us giving ourselves the opportunity to do that. Because when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, it's what you do and it's what you, it's how you change yourself that becomes the outcome of where you go. Not even necessarily the place, you know. It's it's the people you meet along the way. It's the things that you change about yourself, and uh, it's the way that you think about yourself that uh, ends up making you who you are. And so I think that's why people are able to change. It's a great insight. It's a great insight. Um, What's your favorite thing that you uh, about this place? About not maybe not the school, just this area. What's your favorite thing about these Nickerson? past four years. Yeah, or just these just, past four years. Yeah, favorite thing that's happened in these past four years. I would really say just all the musicals I've done. The musicals. I, I look back and I see the musicals as some of the happiest times of my life. <laughs> some of the saddest times of my life. Really? Because I look oh, back man. at the musicals as the worst times. Really? No, oh, I mean, my. Like, just like, oh my goodness, <laughs> gotta learn this whole part in one week. No, it's just <laughs> no, the, but. like, the first one we did, uh, the Charlie Brown, that was just something really special, because yeah. uh, the first one, uh, the first one we ever wanted to do ended up getting canceled. Yeah, the Green and, Willow, uh, yeah. Yeah, Green Willow, and it was, there was a lot of personal stuff happening for me at that time, too, and I was, I was about to just not, not do it, because... I had never done musicals before up to that point. Well, I hadn't done big scale musicals. Yeah, I remember seeing the cast list come out. I was like, I'm the only freshman with a name part. That's what I hung my hat on at the on the end of the day. And now, now it's like, eh. You yeah. Know? It, it didn't I even mean, end up I didn't even but. I didn't even really get to look at the cast list because yeah. of the whole sickness thing. But I mean, uh, going into Charlie Brown and uh, only being able to cast six people and uh, that was that was that tough. was us. Uh, that was also a cool time because I got to learn about like you know some of the more comp uh, competitive sides of music. Yeah, you got the school. jester nomination. I did get a jester nomination for best supporting actor. Uh, that was cool. That I was ended cool. up coming up short by one person, but hey. My favorite memory from Charlie Brown was when you kept on dropping your dog bowl uh, during the live performance. I didn't drop the dog bowl. The dog bowl during live performance. I put it back up in the doghouse every time because I kept dropping it during practice. Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, you know. Overall, right? I think that that you you've had a pretty good four years, bit, right? Not you, bad four years, yeah. Not not bad, and and 
I've watched you grow. I mean, we've been friends since fifth grade. Yeah. Uh, you know, you came from Nebraska, right? Uh, or <laughs> it's complicated. Area. We yeah. Came from, we came from Oklahoma, really. Oh, so. yeah. And, you know, moved around, and then you ended up here, and, you know, I'm glad that you ended up here, I guess, you know? Yeah. Because uh, one of the things that makes our school special is we have individuals who do so many different things that, you know, you have the interactions with people, and sometimes they just, they do things that amaze you, right? Your singing voice, uh, as much as I hate to admit it, it's great. Like, it, it, it amazes me. Like, you... You really do have, uh, you know, that that talent, and and then you put the hard work behind it. It's it's impressive, and so I think that to really spotlight our community, it's important to spotlight the students within it, the people who make up our community. Because at the end of the day, what makes us special is each other, mm -hmm. and I think that you are a great indicator of what makes this community great. Thank so, you so much. Thank you for joining me today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, y'all um, go ahead join me again we'll have uh, new episodes coming uh, later this week um, as well as next week and probably continuing this uh, the end of the year um, we'll primarily be looking at seniors but we'll be spotlighting uh, staff faculty and some underclassmen as well trying to find out what really makes this place special mm -hmm. so my name is Cody Spurlock and I'll catch you next time thank you